Hi everyone, my name is Marina and I'm very happy to see you here on my YouTube channel. Today we have a very quick stretch for the shoulders. This practice will be good for all levels and uh, it can be a standalone practice when you just want to slightly open through the chest, improve upon your posture and feel lighter, feel better. Or it can be a warm up before your deeper practice, let's say for back bends. So we'll come into kneeling position or might be cross-legged seated position or even standing and we'll begin just with a few shoulder circles. Trying to draw as big of a circle with the shoulders as possible. And a few times the opposite direction. Bring the shoulders down, lift through the arms up, the palms are facing forward, the arms are parallel, slightly hug the tummy in and try to sit with your back straight. Now slowly pull the elbows to the sides and try to squeeze the shoulder blades together and slowly lift back and up. A few more times, gradually, imagine as if you're pulling onto the gym equipment so there is some extra weight and pull the shoulder blades to touch. Lift up, five more. Inhale, lift for one. Lift for two, it is your intention to squeeze the shoulder blades together and create the space across the chest. Last two. Last one. And lift up. Now bring your elbows to 90 degrees bent. Palms are facing forward, fingers are facing up. Rotate and try to point the fingers down, elbows are still bent to 90 degrees, a few more times, lift up and point down or as far down as you can, six more, one, two, keep on breathing, three, four, Five, feeling lots of warmth through the upper arms and shoulders, six. Reach through the arms up one more time and I will be squeezing, shrugging the shoulders up to the ears and lowering them down, straight back, tummy in. Let's go for 10. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Exhale, release your arms through the sides. That was a really nice targeted warm up for the shoulders. Make your way into the tabletop. Bring your hands under the shoulders, spread the fingers nicely. We'll go for shoulder protraction, retraction. We'll do it slowly. So on the exhale, sink the chest down, put some weight in your hands and squeeze the shoulder blades to touch. Hold it here for three. One, keep squeezing together. Two, three. Lift through the center of the chest up, push the floor away and spread the shoulder blades as wide apart as possible. We are holding it here. One, keep pushing. Two, three. Four more times. Squeeze to touch. One, two, three. Spread apart and push the floor away. One, two, three. Three, couple more times. Squeeze and hold. Lift through the chest up and hold. One last round. Squeeze. 
and lift. Beautiful. Come back into the tabletop. Reach through the right arm forward, up, and circle it back. On the other side, left arm forward, up, and circle it back. Three more times each side. As I lift through the left arm up, I'm really pressing my right hand into the floor. One last time. And on the left side. From the tabletop position, Walk your left hand farther forward, spread the fingers, pull onto the floor, sink through the left shoulder down and slightly twist open to the right. We should be feeling the stretch through the side of the body, the side of the shoulder and lift up. Let's do it on the other side. Walk the right hand forward, spread the fingers and try to lower through the side of your chest down. Looking over to the left and come up. Eight more times. Left hand lifts up. Right hand lifts up. Left and up. Right and up. Two more. One last time. Beautiful stretch. Now we'll go for the puppy pose. So knees a little bit wider apart and slightly to the sides of the mat. Walk your hands forward. Arms are parallel. The fingers are nicely spread apart. Press into the floor and you're trying to sink the chest down to the mat. Might be you'll bring the forehead down. Might be you'll bring the chest and chin to the floor. I'll stay with the forehead and let's hold it here. Whenever you are ready, come up onto your hands, sit the hips towards the heels, interlace the fingers behind the back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift up through the center of your chest, hold it here. One, two, three, four, five, lift up. Grab the hands onto the opposite elbows and try to slightly pull the elbows farther back. Slightly hugging the navel into the spine, lifting through the heart. Let's do this one more time. Interlace the fingers behind the back, reach up through the chest. Hold it. One, two, three four, five, and hands on to the opposite elbows. 
sometimes moving from side to side gives an additional stretch through the side of the shoulder and the side of the body or just holding it up through the center last three counts one two three and exhale release the arms down my apologies i didn't tell you in the beginning that you will need either a strap or a scarf and uh, later on a set of blocks so might be the side of the bed or the sofa so if you don't have a yoga strap i'm sure you have a scarf or a longer towel at home so in the seated position bring your hands i'll double my strap might be you don't need to double for today bring your hands onto the strap start wider just to try it out we'll be flossing through the shoulders so both arms straight lift up rotate and lower the arms behind the back if this is challenging and you feel like a little dance and wiggle then bring your hands slightly wider apart if this is easy bring your hands closer together let's go one two thirty four five let's do it last two six might be do it slower that's absolutely fine seven beautiful now wrap your strap four times or the scarf whatever you have handy so that your hands are closer to shoulder distance apart lift up hug the tummy in lift up through the chest and we'll just try to extend into the side and then we'll be feeling the stretch running into the chest through the side of the body and we hold it there so reaching to the side pressing the hands onto the strap and lifting through the chest up holding it here one Mind you, you'll feel like sliding off the heels and down to the floor in the opposite direction of your hands. Holding it here, one, two, breathing, three, adjusting, looking for the stretch that will feel good to you, four, five. Come back to the center and let's try it on the other side wonderful holding it here one two three four five beautiful release now grab hold of your blocks we'll go for the puppy pose one more time if you don't have the blocks but you're practicing next to the bed you can uh, place the elbows onto the bed but make sure that that piece of furniture armchair or something doesn't slide away i'll do with the blocks so blocks are slightly apart elbows into the center of the block find the distance between the blocks and the knees and then hands prayer position up we're sinking through the chest down and we are holding it here if this variation is a little too intense for you then try to hold a puppy pose the way we did earlier
very slowly lift up onto your elbows come up onto the hands that was a beautiful stretch come into the tabletop and draw a few circles through the shoulders here wonderful set the blocks aside let's come up into the yogic squat if the hips feel tight take a moment here to wiggle out perfect now place your right hand behind your back fingers towards the spine palm is facing away from your back and bring the left elbow on the inside of your left thigh hold it here just one arm at a time creating a different stretch through the shoulder might feel rather intense a few deep breaths wonderful let's try on the opposite side bring your right hand behind the back fingers to the spine palm is facing away place the elbow on the inside of your right thigh now we can try to add the left arm and do both shoulders at the same time this is the final stretch for this practice so we'll take just a couple more breaths slowly untuck your elbows bring the knees down inhale lift through the arms up exhale draw the elbows to the sides like in the beginning of the practice squeeze the shoulder blades together lift up through the chest hold it here just for a moment notice all the space that you created through the chest inhale lifts up and exhale let's take a few breaths in the child's pose wonderful that was a very quick stretch for the shoulders but if you come up into the seated position hug the tummy in roll the shoulders backwards and notice that you feel much more open much more confident beautiful a little bit lighter in your upper body so if this is the end of your practice for today well done for dedicating 20 minutes to feeling better if you continue practicing i'll be very honored if you choose one of my other videos might be flexibility backbend flow might be pincha thank you so much for practicing with me if you enjoyed this practice remember to hit that like button subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss on all the future uploads and i cannot wait to see you on the mat again much love and take care of yourself.